Hey there pretty people and welcome back to Such Pretty. I have no makeup on because today is going to be a hair video and I am going to start this off with stripping my hair color that I currently have. So I use the the dye colors Manic Panic Electric Lizard, Manic Panic Electric Banana, and Ion Sky Blue at the roots. And uh, I normally wouldn't strip my color because I this is only one one color. I would usually just color the my neon green just right over this. This is just, it's pretty faded and it's kind of dingy, but I would just usually color my neon green right over this but the reason that I am not is because I wanted to do a video showing you how I strip my hair color because um, I do change my hair color often from green I deviate pretty pretty often from green and um, come back and this is my stripping method um, I got this stripping method from the hair crazy forums and there is a girl named Katie um I'm sorry if I pronounced your name incorrectly but it's Katie Sipierski um and I'll link her Instagram and the information down below um I'm going to read to you her exact stripping method because I've de deviated away from this pretty much in the last uh year or, or so that I've been stripping my hair color I've kind of adapted it to myself so this is her exact stripping method and she came up with this and she's been developing it forever and there are thousands of people who have tried it and it works on even the toughest of colors um it's kind of notorious that ion blue colors uh do not come out and um so if you ever tried ion sky blue or ion aqua before and then you were completely unable to strip those colors um this method will get it out and it has gotten it out for me many times and um, I have tried every other method like the vitamin C method and um, baking soda and dish soap and all of the methods that you see online and uh, wikiham whatever um, I've I tried every one of those methods at least a half a dozen times just frantically trying to get my blue hair color out over a year ago and then um, I came across this method online and um, tried it and my hair color came out in three or four washes of this so um, this is her exact her exact formula that I'm gonna read for you um, direct dye fading treatment by Katie Sipierski apply pure coconut oil to dry hair and let absorb for two hours so I'm going to use this um, Better Body Foods. I got it at Walmart. Um, I'm going to use this coconut oil on my hair and um, it's pretty cold in my house so um, it's uh, I keep it pretty cold in the house because uh, heating bills are expensive and makeup is more important than heating my house I guess. We use uh, um, heating blankets and space heaters a lot but um, I'm just going to put this right on my hair which is um, I haven't washed since two days ago I guess I'd say and I'm just going to um, completely saturate my hair with this and then I'm just going to while I'm doing this and being gross and just like running this through my hair I'm gonna read you the rest of her um, her dye her, her dye stripping method so, um, apply pure coconut oil to dry hair and let absorb for two hours. Then mix one ounce bleach powder, four ounces clarifying shampoo, one teaspoon coconut oil, and one teaspoon olive oil. Liberally apply directly to your oiled hair. Do not wet or rinse the oil out. Work in well like you're exfoliating the hair. Cap and warm for five to 10 minutes shampoo out in hot water use a silicone free moisturizing conditioner after after you rinse out the conditioner spray out, spray on an equal mix of regular white vinegar and water which that's a vinegar rinse um and work through and leave it in for a minute and then rinse out so that is her um exact method and i have kind of deviated from her method somewhat um I do put the coconut oil all over my head and I'll let it sit for as long as I can bear it. I'm really impatient. So um, once I want to do something, I like want to do it like right then. So I usually just leave it on for as long as I can bear it. Um, I wait until my, ha my hair has some time to really absorb it, especially there in the ends. Um, and then I will go ahead and apply 
the mixture directly onto the hair. So I'm just going to apply this all over my head and then I will be back and um, I will mix my kind of sort of my version of this um, fading mixture. I will mix it for you and I will show you what I use. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I've been letting this sit in my hair for about an hour um, and it has gone from like dripping off my hair to like no more drippiness and all of the little chunks have melted. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead with uh, what my my little deviation from her um, probably perfect formula is. Um, and this is just because this is what I have in my house and this is what I've been doing for the past um, year or so um, since I started using her method I've just kind of tinkered with it myself just because of what I had available to me or whatever and um she is a professional I'm not so I would pr trust I would trust her um, opinion this is just my hair and my hair type and this is what I do and this is what I've found has been good for my hair and I've been able to keep length and stuff so um, I have already put the oil inside of my little container here um, the olive oil and the coconut oil are already in here and then what I also use is um, Clairol Professional Basic White Extra Strength Powder Lightener. Um, I'm not sure if this is an off the scalp or on the scalp lightener. I know that I should... Um, I'm just doing this at home so uh, the lightener almost, well, like pretty much always touches my skin um, and it's not good for it so... Um, but I don't have the time to like teach my boyfriend how to foil and I don't have the energy to sit here and foil as much as I can. I just don't have that. So um, I just put it right on my scalp and that is not good for you. And if you were to foil or get your hair foiled, you wouldn't be putting your lightener right on your scalp. Um, but I always ask for the strongest on the scalp lightener that they have when I go to Sally's and sometimes I get on the scalp and sometimes I get off the scalp and I am not going to sit here and read this whole thing because I and blind but this is what I use um, and I just take the scooper that comes in it and I get about a scoop a little bit less than a scoop not leveled off uh, or leveled off and not packed and I put it inside that mixture and that powder bleach um, really can get up in the air so you kind of want to keep it keep it away from your face and mix it into the oil um, right away. I try and mix mix it into something right away just so that I'm not, that stuff is just isn't in the air, you know, because it's kind of gross and you don't want to breathe that. So I just really carefully mix it into the oil that's already in there so that I don't have any more like powder fluffiness coming at me. So um, the next thing that I add is the Equate, this is Walmart brand, um, uh, head and shoulder shampoo. This is everyday clean. This is just the, the regular head and shoulders. And I go ahead and I put, I, I have a, like a really big thing of this and I'll put, and I just put like, I don't know, 10 pumps of this in here. Okay. So this is how much 10 full pumps looks like. And it's the, I don't know if you can even tell that it's light blue but it's the light blue versus the uh, kind of chunky white stuff. Um, so this this is uh, the ingredient in Head and Shoulders um, can also really help to fade hair color. So I just, um, I use the Head and Shoulders and then I also have this um, Ion Swimmer shampoo from when I was blonde um, that helps prevent the green tones and swimmers green and it's like a clarifying shampoo and she says to use a clarifying shampoo this is the closest thing that I have in my house so um I just pump out about the same or I squeeze out about the same amount as I just squeeze out of the other shampoo into my mixture and this stuff is um like a clear blue and it's a little bit more um watery so then I'm just going to mix all of that together and I'm using just a regular hair um, applicator 
and I'm just gonna mix all of this together really well. Okay, once it's all mixed, um, I just, I have this this shirt that I really don't care anything about that I just, I use this shirt to, I put bleach on it and a little bit's gross. So um, if you don't have a shirt like this, I would suggest you go to Goodwill, find a shirt that is just a shirt that you use that's icky. Um, I use these gloves uh, whenever I'm working with bleach. So um, these are just, uh, from Sally's and then I just start I usually start trying to apply this like I would hair dye or hair color but I usually end up just like um, putting it in like shampoo because I'm impatient so let's just see how far I get um, putting this in like I should so the uh, thing that makes this different from like a bleach bath is that um, there's no developer in here so she says to stay to cap it and go under heat for five to ten minutes I am going to put a plastic bag over it because I don't have a shower cap um, I'm gonna put a plastic bag over it and I am going to um, there we go I'm gonna put a plastic bag over it and then I don't have a heat, uh, I'm not gonna sit there with a uh, dryer a hair dryer either I'm just going to leave it on for about oh 45 minutes maybe to an hour I'm gonna leave it in my hair in the bag while I watch TV and stuff and then I'm going to rinse it out and this is extremely drying um, she recommends using a a silicone free conditioner afterwards a deep conditioner which is probably a really good idea um, I am going to put a conditioner in it to soften my hair somewhat and then I'm going to immediately wash it again because I want the I don't want anything to soak into my hair follicle because I'm going to be wanting it to grab onto my hair color the green hair color so I am not going to deep condition, I'm going to just uh, regular condition it and then uh, I'm going to wash that conditioner out so that I can leave my, my hair kind of ready to um, absorb the color that I'm going to put on it. So I like to get this as lathered as I can. Um, it tends to not want to make bubbles really um, but you'll see what I mean when you put the the uh, mixture on you can tell when it's worked in versus when it's not worked in I'm getting this everywhere <laughs> so I like to make sure that it's in there this doesn't um, this doesn't I haven't seen damage from this and she also says not to do this you know you got to give your hair a couple days in between and uh, she's probably right and um, if I had any sort of self-control I would wait a couple days in between um, doing these treatments if I were to have one that didn't immediately come out the way I wanted it to um, if I had the patience to wait a couple days in between doing these treatments I totally would but I just don't so now, just to stick everything where I want it so that it doesn't come undone, I am just taking that head and shoulders shampoo and just putting a couple pumps in my hand and I am smoothing it over so that the hair kind of stays in place. Anyway, I've done these up to four or five times in a day and not seen um, any more damage than I would see from like uh, washing it with dish soap or washing it with baking soda or whatever so this is a really low I can't say no damage because you know I don't have like a microscope going up to my hair or whatever um, um, I can't say no damage because I really I really don't know and I can't see but I've seen no visible damage 
from doing the these four or five times in a day so um, I'm just gonna put a, a bag over my head <laughs> uh, like a plastic grocery bag over my head like a shower cap and I'm going to leave it for probably about an hour um, 45 minutes to an hour and I'm going to rinse it out and then I will tell you um, I'm just gonna use like the cheapo conditioner like a like a um, John Frieda or something conditioner and then a John Frieda shampoo I just have really cheap shampoos and conditioners um, the cheapest that I have I'm gonna use them uh, I'll, I'll rinse and then I'll condition and then I will wash with a inexpensive shampoo um, just so that my hair follicle my everything my hair shaft is ready to take color um, so I also wanted to talk about um, I also wanted to do this stripping method over before I had my boyfriend do my roots because you will see that it does not um, pull it does not pull any light in your hair at all like bleach does um, when you add developer to it it's not it's not lifting your color at all so you'll see that um, my dark dark roots here won't have any color lifted from them so I just wanted to show you that it, that it's not like bleaching your hair or whatever and then also so that it's easier for my boyfriend to see where he needs to paint my roots on um, and uh, when I rinse my hair out and once it is dry I will come back and show you how how blonde it is and how green it is and what um, what is left over after this rinse so um, I will see you in just a minute okay I am back and what I did was leave that stripping um, mixture on my hair under a Safeway bag um, I just left that on my hair I you might want to hear my cat he's trying to get in anyway I left that on my hair for 40 minutes I just watched two 30 minute episodes of episodes of forensic files and um it's really dry because I did not um deep condition it I just washed out all of the all of the stuff and then I put a little bit of conditioner in it to just kind of make it not so straw like and then I washed that out because I want the hair to be really ready to soak up color once I put my um, neon green on and it took out a good amount of the color as you can see um, in the camera here it looks a little bit more green than it is in real life I don't know if you can see with my light closer it's like blonde it's like yellow blonde and it's more green towards the top so that I that ion sky blue is a, is a lot harder to get out and if I were changing colors completely I most definitely would do another one of those washes but since I am going to do the same color family actually the exact same colors that I had on my hair before um, I am NOT going to do another one of those washes so um, say if I were going to pink or something I would definitely wash this out or um, anything outside of the green blue yellow spectrum I would probably do another wash and then the toner um, but I could I absolutely definitely if I did another one of these washes and a toner I could get this hair back to like a platinum um, without bleach without active bleach it, it uses bleach powder but as you can see in my roots here it does not lift your color at all so it doesn't lift your color at all um, but it really all of those uh, colored dyes it really kick those in the butt so I am going to my next video is going to be um, bleaching my roots and I will talk about Olaplex even though I am not going to use Olaplex I will talk about it in my next video and I will also talk about why I'm not going to use it um, and uh, I, then I will also have a video on um, how I apply my color and then what I do to maintain my color, how I wash my hair, what I wash my hair with, any vitamins, all of that. Most of your hair questions will be answered in that video. One person did ask a question about um, if you have to uh, strip your color, if you're just going to put the same color over it. And the answer, the short answer is no. You don't have to strip your color if you're just going to put the same color right over it. Like I said in the beginning of this video, um, normally I would have just put the color right over it. Um, but I had 
uh, a couple of reasons why I wanted my roots to show um, for my boyfriend to do my roots and then I also uh, wanted to show you a video of how I strip my hair and um, I wanted to share Katie's stripping method with you guys. Um, I just want to do a, like a series of hair videos so that um, is why I did it but you definitely don't have to. Um, the, I probably every four times I color my hair the same so if I color my hair um, if I keep it blue and green which is normally what I keep my hair as if I color it blue and green for like four months I usually do, I usually do this um, whole coloring spiel once every four to six weeks so um, if I am coloring it the same color what happens is you get a lot of buildup of the color so like I would get buildup of this this blue over blue over blue over blue um, and then as it grows it would be my blue is going to be further and further and close further down my hair shaft um, when I really only want the blue right next to my roots here so um, it'll get buildup of color and it'll start the neon will definitely start to look less neon and a little bit more um, like gr like Kelly green once I've put it over itself so many times so I recommend stripping the color out even if you're doing the same color I recommend stripping the color out every three or four times that you dye it just so that you don't get that build up and you get a really nice vibrant color over blonde instead of um, dyeing dying green over green over green over green kind of dampens that neon effect and kind of makes the color a little bit deeper and less vibrant. Not that it's not pretty, it just looks a little bit different um, than the first time you colored it over virgin blonde hair. So um, you definitely don't have to go through this process of stripping your hair color every time and then dyeing it the same hair color. Um, I usually only go through this process once every four months if I am maintaining the same color and then I will if I'm changing colors I will go through this process um, every time so but I'm not changing colors I'm just going back to my green and blue and um, just showing you how I how I get my hair my signature hair I guess because I, I always end up coming back to the green and blue and this time another reason is that I kind of want it to be more of a vibrant green um, like it was about maybe a year ago as opposed to um, the uh, more half blue, half green, I want it to be like mostly green um, with a little bit of blue coming off the roots here. So um, stay tuned uh, to Such Pretty and I will be uploading some videos of my hair um, as the process goes and um, I'll be answering your hair questions as the process goes along and I will be splitting this up into several different videos. There's, this is just the first color stripping video so um, if you have any questions or comments and if you like this video please like, comment, subscribe. All of the information on how to get in touch with me and um, where to find Katie's hair stripping method will be down below in the description. So um, I hope you guys had a great day and thanks for stopping by.